comments. my friend how you doing i'm doing very well how yeah. are you i'm doing good thank you it's been a uh it's been a while since you've been on the show right that's right last time you were here you had your you had your learner's permit mm -hmm. you didn't have the license yet no so you were driving everywhere you had to be with somebody is that right uh, yeah I, I was with mom but i've since gotten the license i i broke the barrier so uh, you have the license now yeah, yeah. doesn't that just change your life I remember getting my license and it didn't change my life, but other people, it changes <laughs> yeah. their life, I hear. No, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's a, it's a lot more freedom. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, I was the first one to get my license out of my friends. And so, you know, I'd always get the phone calls at 2, two in the morning. Dude, I'm so faded. Come pick me up. You know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. Why are all your friends wasted all the time? <laughs> I don't That's know. That's the bigger I, question to ask yourself. I, I don't know why I'm not there. That's yeah. The do you, do you, uh, what kind of car do you have? I have, a, I have a sport utility vehicle. Big, big thing, you know. It's uh, seat seven people, so. So it's one of those things with like nine wheels. Just drives around. <laughs> you roll over I things? I just go over people. No, right. it's, it's, uh, it's a Toyota Land Cruiser. That's what it is. Do you, so. like, to, uh, do you like to drive around? Yeah, I do. I, I put 23,000 miles on my car the first year I had it, so... Uh, so you're like a cabbie at yeah. this point. You're just <laughs> driving around. Pretty much. It's how I make extra change on the weekends. Right. You just drive. Have you taken any long road trips where you've gone, like, you know, 100 miles, 200 miles in a shot? Yeah, you know, I, I have a, a lot of family in Northern California, so I'll go up there, and uh, it's cool. I yeah. like driving. Did, uh, how old are you now, by the way? You're, are you 18? 17. 17. Yeah, which is, which is, thank you. <laughs> There's like one person. Woo. Yeah. Um, no, it's, it's sort of a, a meaningless age, though, because, you know, it's like 16, you get the license, 18, you know, you're an adult, and 17, I get to see rated R movies. So, you know, it's, it's really not, it's not that great. I know, that's not the big thrill. No. I remember when I found out that I could go, when I could finally go see a rated R movie, thinking that it was going to be like basically pornography yeah. and being thrilled. But it's not. And you go there and then, yeah, there's just a glimpse of like the side of someone's breast kind of for a second. <laughs> and it was a Disney film, which shocked me. <laughs> uh, you, left, uh, you left Home Improvement. That's right. Now, some people say, you know, a successful show, why leave it? What, what was your reasoning? Uh, I wanted to go back to school. You know, I, I went back to my high school and I'm um, with my friends now. I get to be there every day, go to the football games on the weekends, that kind of stuff. That's interesting, because most people in their minds, most kids that have been in school all their life, think, no, I've got to bust out of here and be the star of my own show. <laughs> That's what I've got to do. They're not thinking, I've, you know what I mean? You're, I, you're I going, you're working backwards. backwards, kind of. Yes. Uh, yes. We're, so you're, you're going to be serious about, you're going to go to college? Absolutely, absolutely. Because you kind of have to. I mean, some of these people, child stars, they say, oh, no, I have a tutor come in. Right. And, and she teaches me, and it's just as good as going to school. No, and you well, think there's no way it's as good as, I, you know, 20 minutes with the tutor. And I then... like I like being at school. I like being at school, and you know, I definitely want to go to college. So, okay, yeah. all right, it's good stuff. That's a good thing. Absolutely. Those are good values. Yes. Yes. I think you're crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play devil's advocate here and say, skip college. Yeah. yeah. Buy a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> Become a rock roadie. Yeah. Um, now, uh, you went through the experience that always eluded me of being a teen idol, being on the cover of all the teen idol magazines. And, you know, the girl's probably always in your face when you go out. You're trying to go to the mall. You're trying to just enjoy your life. What's the weirdest place that you've been approached by screaming fans? Uh, actually, probably it was here in New York. And I was in uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, which kind of scared me. You know, I was in there uh, lighting a candle, doing something, and... Uh, uh, a lady came up to me and wanted my autograph, and I was just like, you know, can we step outside? I, you know, think that would be a better place to, to do that. Right, right. Now, that would be kind of... Actually, the same thing has happened to me. I was over at... No, seriously, when people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you were recognized? <laughs> Lousy crowd. Uh, no, I was, the same thing happened to me. I was over in... Because uh, I'm, I'm Catholic, and I was over in St. Patrick's Cathedral once, and people were like, you're that guy on TV from the Conan show. And I'm like, yeah, I'm Conan. <laughs> But it's a weird place for it to happen. Tell us about I'll Be Home for Christmas. This is a... Uh, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. And, uh, I figured that part out. Yes. <laughs> I went because I thought it was a Rosh Hashanah movie, and I was disappointed. <laughs> it was completely true. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I pretty much... I, I 
the What's whole the movie, I'm, I'm Santa Claus. Well, I'm not Santa Claus, but I'm just in a Santa suit. I play a kid trying to get home for Christmas, uh, and I get sort of left in the middle of the desert in a Santa costume. So I've got to fight my way home and sort of save my girlfriend at the same time. You breeze through the whole part of how that happens, <laughs> where <laughs> no, I'm I, just this guy who's trapped in the desert, glued into a Santa suit. No, uh, you know, that same old thing, and then I got to get home. But. I, I get left out there by... Uh, some people who don't really like me that much, so they right. leave me there in, in the desert. Evil people. Evil people, and, yeah. and they shot this thing in the desert, because I think that's the place where you don't want to be wearing a Santa well, suit. Well, we, we actually went up to Canada to uh, find snow, but uh, the, there was no snow as he makes his way across the country, you know, in various locations, and there was no snow, so we had to make snow. We imported this fake stuff from England, and we covered these whole towns, and this was in the spring, so... What's the fake snow made of in movies? I've never known. Uh, I think it's paper. Paper, and uh, they actually make stuff out of potatoes as well. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. It's like these uh, fake potato, potato flakes. Oh, potato flakes. Yeah, potato flakes. Because in some movies, you can see people in the background eating them. <laughs> uh, and saying, yum, taters. Uh, which takes me right out of the movie. The, it's called I'll Be Home for Christmas. Yes. It opens Friday, November 13th. Do you still go by JTT? Are you over that now? No, I'm over that. I've always been over that. I'm C O B. <laughs> I'm yeah. Cobb. Yeah, I'm Cobb. Yeah. Cobb. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. Ladies love it. All right. Uh, check out. I'll be home for Christmas Friday, November 13th. And uh, Jonathan, thanks for stopping by. Thanks a lot. Nice to see you again, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Everybody, take a break. We're right back with Frank Pellegrino.